Hey y'all, I'm Chris and I'm a pro artist for Sephora based out of New York. My pronouns are he, him, and I am so excited to bring you the next video in our Bold Beauty for the Trans Community series. Today we're gonna talk all about fragrance for trans men and non-binary individuals. And I cannot wait for you to meet the amazing client that I get to connect with. Javon, introduce yourself to the people. Hey, how are you, Chris? Thank you for inviting me. So, I am Javon Martin, and my pronouns are he, him, his, and king, because I am the newly crowned Mr. Trans New York USA 2020. I am the founder of Princess Janae Place, which is a nonprofit organization that houses the trans community. But we don't only house the trans community, we house everyone under the LGBT spectrum because we don't want to be left out of services. Amazing. So great to meet you. So great to connect today, Javon. And thank you so much for everything that you do for our community. All right. Are you ready to dive into some fragrance? Let's do it. Yes, yes. So I, I, like I said, I'm a pro artist. I'm professionally a makeup artist, but fragrance is one of my biggest passions. So I am super excited to get you all your questions answered and to help you navigate the vast world of fragrance out there a little bit easier, right? Have you ever felt overwhelmed when shopping for a fragrance? Yes, definitely. So when, when I shop for a fragrance, when you go in the store, it's like there's so many different ones and it's like, which one do I choose? You ready to dive in? Yes, I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. So let's talk about the different types of fragrance first. So you're going to find, I know we, are, we sent you a bunch of stuff. So in front of you, you're going to find three different types of fragrance. So you have Eau de Parfums, you have Eau de Toilettes, and you also have Colognes. So the Eau de Toilette, is slightly less concentrated than a parfum. So your parfums, that's gonna be your strongest, hardest hitting. They have the most concentration of fragrance oil, which means they are going to be your longest lasting. So with our toilettes, that's kind of your mid range. So they have, um, they, they're long lasting. You can respray them throughout the day. Um, but they're not going to be really intense or overwhelming, depending on the scent. And then with colognes, they have the lowest concentration and they typically have a very light weight or citrusy kind of scent to them. They tend to dissipate the fastest as well. Do you feel good about the difference between parfums, toilettes, and colognes? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm comfortable uh, with that. I just want to go into the next phase because I'm, I'm trying to see where musk yeah, so let's talk about musk. Musk is a really good example of a note. So every single fragrance has a lot of different notes in there. It's what makes them so unique. And those notes fall into three different categories. So we have our top note, which is what we initially smell in the first 15 or so minutes of spraying that fragrance. Then below that, we get into the heart. And that's that middle place that lasts for several hours. And that's where the kind of what we typically think of as how the, the scent smells, that's where that starts to come out. And then we'll get to our base note, which is the bottom note and the most long lasting is what lingers the longest. So what I'm, you know, with your concerns around longevity, what I'm thinking is as we dive into these notes, thinking about figuring out what one you like the, the best and making sure that that's in the base since it's gonna last the longest is gonna be key to finding your signature. So let's start with this lovely fragrance here. This is Blue de Chanel. So the reason that I think this is gonna work really, really well for you in particular is because it has some of those traditionally masculine elements. It also has a little bit of that fresh kind of vibe to it, but as it dries down, it falls very firmly into our spicy warm woods family. Give her a little spray. And I always let that scent strip dry down for like 10 to 15 seconds. Tell me about what you're experiencing. The first thing that came into my mind was this is powerful. It's, it, it, it hits that masculinity that I was looking for, but it's not harsh. It's gentle. 
It is, right? It's what it's so well balanced. It's one of my favorites. I love it. And because it's that eau de parfum, it's gonna last really, really long on you. Let's put that one aside and dive into the next one. Grab that replica from Maison Margiela. This is by the fireplace. All right, got it. Oh, I like this bottle. I love the bottle. The bottle's amazing. Um, give your test strip a little spritz. We're gonna do the waft. And this one immediately takes me to that like warm cabin. It's very sensual. Oh, this one is good. This what do you like about it? This smells like I'm in the, in Bear Mountain, in the cabin. Oh yeah, this is, I like this one. I love that you mentioned these memories because scent really is the sense that's tied strongest to memory at the end of the day. And that is why I always love having that unique scent. I feel like it's a great way to impact um, just the presence in the room, you know what I mean? How are you feeling so far, just in general? Oh, in, in general so far, I'm, I'm still excited, but but I'm, I'm feeling more in tune to this. Those were great. I wanna switch gears a little bit so you can smell something from our fresh family. And I want you to grab the clean reserve fragrances that we sent. Warm cotton and skin, I'm excited. So one of the things that's really cool and unique about Clean Reserve as a fragrance brand is that they all have clean fragrance formulas. So Clean at Sephora is actually formulated without a list of over 50 different ingredients and nothing Clean at Sephora has anything in there. So no parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates, nothing like that, which is amazing for anybody who may have skin sensitivities. So really, really great option as far as fragrance goes to not exacerbate any kind of skin sensitivity or anything like that. So these bottles, we need to go a little bit different. It's a little stopper. It's not a spritz. So pull that little stopper off and then we're gonna take our fragrance strip and cover up that hole and then give a little shake. Okay, Get up, add it. And that is the mess-free way to smell a fragrance. Oh, look at that, that did happen. Very good, thank you. It's very light. It smells like flowers. So what you'll notice with uh, with the warm cotton is it has a lot more of the traditionally feminine elements as far as notes goes. I wanted you to experience it for the reference because I know we all want to be that blend at the end of the day where it's like, what fits me specifically? Um, and so I love that warm cotton. It literally smells like fresh, clean baskets of laundry. And that one falls into that fresher aquatic end of things. It has a little bit of those aqua notes underneath. And you know, since you mentioned the laundry, I was trying to figure out where did I smell that at, but, but that's a good smell, clean. Yeah, very fresh. I really, it's very uplifting for me as a scent. It's one of the ones, if I'm having a little bit of a down day, if I want to change my mood, give me a little bit of a boost, it's one of those fragrances I love to spritz on just cause it's an instant kind of mood elevator. Oh, this, this is really good. I like, I like this one. Beautiful, beautiful. And the other thing that I want you to consider is that with something like clean that's lighter weight like that, you can actually layer. I didn't know you can mix colognes like that. Absolutely, absolutely. Layering is one of my favorite ways to create that signature. So let's move to our next one. I want you to experience skin. Skin, okay. And I love this one. This one falls into that warm wood family but it still has that clean, fresh vibe that I know you're looking for. And this literally smells like, like, I don't know, like an embrace with somebody that I love. Like it's, it's, it's a, almost like a homey kind of comforting scent to me. What do you smell? This one is even lighter than the other one. It's very, very light. That's a different scent. I've never smelled this one before. I know, it's one of the things I love Clean Reserve because everything they do is so unique, but it's like a unique take on a traditional fragrance trope, if that makes sense. 
yes, that makes sense, but I'm, I'm still trying. It, it smells like fresh out the shower. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, Javon, so I'm, let's dive into our next fragrance brand, and that is the Atelier Cologne. So grab the Pacific Lime, it's that top one. Grab the Rose Anonym. Ready, go. Okay, so let's give the Pacific Lime our first spritz. And this one, describe to me where this transports you as you smell it. Oh, this one right here. This one is a tropical. I'm, I'm seeing myself with, with a drink right here. This one is so good. Yes, it is a sophisticated tropical drink. And I love, you know, I love the Seven Stories fragrance set because you can try so many different things um, and figure out exactly what works for you. Our next one, Rose and Anim, I want you to smell. It has a little bit more of that traditionally feminine element to it. Um, give that one a spritz and describe what feelings does that one evoke? Oh, this one. This one is a, it, it's a little citrusy, but not much, but it's also floral. Kind of like takes me back to when I was younger. This is, this is like something that my mom would wear, but I would, I, I more so like, you know, my, my wife to wear something like this. So, so, so these are, are basically gender neutral. Yeah, no, actually, that's one of my favorite things about Atelier Cologne in general. Um, same thing with Replica. All of their fragrances are completely gender neutral. Anybody can wear them. And if you need a little bit more help figuring out and finding exactly what your fragrance is, signature fragrance is or where your preferences fall on those note spectrums sephora has our fragrance finder on sephora.com and it's a simple easy quiz that you can take to help narrow down your preferences and find your signature scent it also works beautifully for choosing um gifts for others as well okay thank you thank you for that yeah all right, Javon, I know we've tried a lot of different fragrances so far. I want to check in with you. How are you feeling? So I'm, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling excited to try these to see how my pH balance, you know, relates and smells with the different colognes. Also, how long they last. So um, I'm just excited to give it a go and give it a try. I'm going to start spritzing on each side to see how yeah. they smell. <laughs> I love that. And, you know, speaking of longevity, my last little pro tip for you as far as making your fragrances last as long as possible um, is to actually apply them on your bare, moisturized skin on those hot spots. So anywhere that you naturally tend to, like all your pulse points, anywhere your body naturally gets a little bit hotter, that's where you want to spray your fragrance because that body heat will help activate it and send it out into your aura. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you for that. I, so previously, I've just been spraying it like on on my shirt to make sure that I could smell it later. Like the, you know, I, actually, that's a good point too that you bring up. And I know, you know, when we were talking earlier, you were concerned about you know, like I can't smell my fragrance anymore. I wear it for ten minutes and it disappears. So one thing I do want to call out too is something called olfactory fatigue. So our noses are super super smart and they adapt really, really quickly. So even though you can't smell your fragrance anymore, that doesn't necessarily mean it's not there. Always check with a buddy or your significant other or whoever and get a little bit of feedback from them. Like, hey, can you still smell this? Cause like, I can't smell it anymore and I don't wanna spray too much. Does that make sense? Okay, all right, thank you for that, yeah. Okay, Javon, so at, we've tried all this stuff. Where are you kind of gravitating towards? What's jumping out as your like signature scent so far? So I'm going with Replica. Replica, what do you love so much about it? It's so earthy and it's it, it, it took me back to a place where I was so young and energetic and now that I'm, I'm gonna be 50 soon. So this, this is taking me to my next step in life. I, I, I feel as though this this is gonna give me what what I've been looking for. But it's the scent of a king. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna see if it uh 
smells good with my with my pH balance, and hopefully it does. And uh, just in case, my my second choice was blue. Oh, so good. Uh, well, and depending on the day, wear either one. I can guarantee both will work beautifully on you. Right, but but you know what 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 I also learned, and I thank you for um, explaining this to me, is that I can mix and and match, and that also some of the floral light scents can be mixed with the citrus, and it'll make a whole nother scent. So that was a really good pointer, and I could also take some of those and maybe mix it with the replica, and it'll give me a whole nother scent. I love it. I love that you have gained the confidence to experiment with your signature scent today. That is that is all I could have ever asked for, Juwan. Thank you so much for connecting today. Oh, thank you so much for the opportunity to learn about the different fragrances. This was so much needed. For more information, check out our other Bold Beauty tutorials on skincare, hairstyling, and grooming. And for more info on the classes for confidence, go to sephorastands.com. Thank you all so much. You have a wonderful day.